We've been discussing horizontally launched projectiles. Now let's consider projectiles launched at an angle to the horizontal, such that there's now a V original Y component of velocity. We can calculate the values of dx and dy by using these VOX and VOYs in our equation. Here's the formulas we've been using. For the dx formula, it's as simple as vox times t, no change there. But for the dy, we now have to consider voy times t, that first term. And the second term is still 1 half ayt squared. We're going to use negative 10 for the value of ay, even though we know 9, negative 9.8 will be a little more precise. So let's consider originally the vox is 12 and the voy is 20. And let's fill in this table here for dx and dy values. For dx, it's a simple formula. We're just going to go 12 times the time, and we end up getting these values. But for dy, there's two terms on the right side. We're going to calculate each term separately, so you'll notice there's a column for each in the, in the table. So when we substitute the value of 20 for voy and the value of negative 10 for ay, we end up getting these values for v, the first term, the second term, and the overall value of dy.